Yep. How you doing? Don't you wish your girlfriend? Never mind. <laughs> oh my god! I think I just triggered Rob. I'm just messing with you. Anyway, we're really gonna show uh, the next four movies in my Paramount movie collection, starting with Sliver. Two. Took the words right out of my mouth, but that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And in the next part, I've got three movies that we're gonna show. Nobody's Fool, Braveheart, Virtuosity, and that's all I can think of. Well, you had Nobody's Fool and Braveheart, right? The other one that you missed was Forrest Gump. Uh, what else? Just those three. That's it? On the next disc, yeah. Just three movies? Yep. That's right. That's oh. all that's on that disc. That's all that's on that disc. And I'll prove it when we do that next part soon. Wow. But for right now, here are some exciting coming attractions from Paramount. And we have a trailer for Indecent Proposal. Woody Nelson starred in that movie around the same time he was starring on Cheers, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, although the show was canceled in 1993. You mean it ended? Yeah, Cheers was on NBC from 1982 through 1993. Wow. Yep, Robert Redford, Demi Moore, and Woody Harrelson. Thank you, Richard. You goddamn motherfucker. You like that, old man? You want a piece of me? Bring it on. Now available on video cassette. Aubrey Scott's 69 affected by Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Take that, you motherfucker. We'll take that. <laughs> We're just going to call this one a draw. And we have a trailer on here for The Firm. Yep, we're going to watch the opening to The Firm here in a minute. Coming this December to video stores everywhere. No, that's you. Whenever you hear the song, don't you wish? Fuck me. <laughs> Adam's Family Values. I saw this movie in theaters back in 93. Ooh. Our parents are having a baby, too. They had sex. <laughs> Thank you, Rob Takei. <laughs> yeah, there's a soundtrack for Sliver. Stay tuned after our feature presentation for the hit video, Can't Help Falling in Love by UB40. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. And then there's your Paramount Pictures logo, which almost takes up the entire screen. Okay. Now let's go on to The Firm. Yep, produced and directed by Sidney Pollock. Here are some exciting coming attractions from Paramount. You say coming. At least I don't dance naked to the song Don't You Wish. Who the fuck does that? You. Fuck me. <laughs> I got you! <laughs> you? <laughs> Anyways, we have a trailer on here for Conehead. Coneheads. 
I know Siskel and Ebert gave this film two thumbs down. We have a PG-13 pre preview on here for, um, I think it's The Thing Called Love, but I don't know. Which movie did Siskel and Ebert give two thumbs down for? Coneheads. I don't know. Is this a trailer for The Thing Called Love? I'm pretty sure it is. It's gotta be. I'm almost, I'm 99.99% sure. Now I am 100% sure it is. That's another movie that Siskel and Ebert gave two thumbs down to. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Fuck me, I'm starting to lie. You like that, Rob? You want a piece of me? Bring it on. <laughs> However, for the firm, Siskel and Ebert gave two thumbs up. After all, it's based on the John Grisham novel. Indeed. Now we're going on to Coneheads. Here are some exciting coming attractions from Paramount. Uh. That's not correct. Ah. But I want to know where your manners are. Um, hmm. All over you. <laughs> Well, I'm redirecting it down your toilet and into your sewer. Damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, you bastard. Oh, yeah? Are you sure? Yeah. We'll see about that, bucko. When? Oh, you'll know soon enough. Can't wait. We have a PG-13 preview on here. Once again, for the thing called love. Oh my god. I think I need to go to therapy. <laughs> Don't we all this day and age? I've committed a lot of sins in my life, but the number one sin I've committed is watching the Tom Green movie from 2001. Mm-hmm. But let's not forget, that was your idea, not mine. I'm aware of that. And we have a preview on here. It's an R-rated preview from Paramount Pictures, but it stars Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan, but I do not know the name of this movie. Honest to God, if I was a woman, I hope to God I'd never had sex with Tom Green. Why, may I ask on earth, would you do something like that? <laughs> oh, James Connors. Oh, Flesh and Bone. That's what this movie's called. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. And the feature presentation is the program Rob.exe has stopped working. Please restart your computer to fix it. <sighs> He's broke. He's broke. He's I broke. Know, I know who right around the world is going to know I just said that. <laughs> Everybody around the world is going to say that. And no, I'm not editing it out. Don't ever edit that out. Here are some exciting coming attractions from Paramount. If I ever had a copy of that movie, Freddy got fingered, I would throw it in the trash. I bet you oh, would. No, 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 no. I would throw it in the trash and take a piss on it. And we have a trailer on here for Adam's Family Values. Did you hear me? I heard it. Good. Where is the baby? Which part? Don't you dare. Children, this is your new nanny. What do you have to say? Be afraid. Be very afraid. Be afraid of what? That's from Adam's Family Values. I just saw a trailer on here for it. And we also have a trailer on here for, looks like, Searching for Bobby Fisher. Did you just say Booby Fisher? You wish! My hair gets so low, man. 
There was a time not so long ago, a few years back, when Ben S7-1297 was playing a game of Jeopardy, and he had a clue about Bobby Fischer, and at first he accidentally put Booby Fischer. That is incorrect. According to Ben, no, that's correct. But yeah, he put Booby Fisher instead of Bobby Fisher. We've made that joke out of Booby Fisher the last several years. Ooh. So apparently, earlier, Rob, you got Booby Fishered. When? Whenever I triggered you with that song and I admitted that you took Viagra. So, yep, yeah, you got Booby Fishered. Just kidding. But in any case, we have a trailer on here for What's Eating Gilbert Grape. And I will say that this movie is actually really good. I know Siskel and Ebert gave this movie two thumbs up. Yep, yeah, from Lassie Hallstrom, director of My Life as a Dog, and Once Around. Hey, Aubrey. Mm hmm? Did you see that I just admitted to taking Viagra? I, I made a joke out of that when I said you got booby fissured. But it was a joke, so. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? You're a pussy. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> now, what movie is this? It doesn't look familiar. Hmm. Oh, Dragon World. Never heard of that movie. Oh, para a promo for Paramount Parks. Too bad I never got never went to a place like that, although I would really, really have loved to. Oh, it wasn't in, Tor uh, in Toronto. It was in North Carolina, California. Too bad there wasn't one in Texas. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. And that feature presentation is Aubrey wishes there was a Paramount Parks in his area. And it's not affected by Agri films. No, that's for you. Okay, let's see what that is now. What Rob really sees it is that we'll see you all for that next part coming soon.